In category theory, a branch of mathematics, a natural transformation provides a way of transforming one functor into another while respecting the internal structure i.e., the composition of morphisms of the categories involved. Hence, a natural transformation can be considered to be a morphism of functors. Indeed, this intuition can be formalized to define so-called functor categories. Natural transformations are, after categories and functors, one of the most fundamental notions of category theory and consequently appear in the majority of its applications. Topic. Definition If f and g are functors between the categories c and d, then a natural transformation α from f to g is a family of morphisms that satisfies two requirements. The natural transformation must associate to every object x in c a morphism α x, f x g x between objects of d the morphism α x is called the component of α at x components must be such that for every morphism f, x y and c we have Eta Y F F equals G F Eta X Display style Eta underscore Y circ F F equals G F circ Eta underscore X The last equation can conveniently be expressed by the commutative diagram. If both f and g are contravariant, the horizontal arrows in this diagram are reversed. If eta is a natural transformation from f to g, we also write eta, fg or eta, fg. This is also expressed by saying the family of morphisms eta x, f, x, g, x is natural in x. If, for every object x in c, the morphism eta x is an isomorphism in d, then eta is said to be a natural isomorphism or sometimes natural equivalence or isomorphism of functors. Two functors f and g are called naturally isomorphic or simply isomorphic if there exists a natural isomorphism from f to g. An infranatural transformation eta from f to g is simply a family of morphisms eta x, f x, g x. Thus a natural transformation is an infranatural transformation for which a to y f f equals g f a to x for every morphism f, x y the naturalizer of eta, nat eta, is the largest subcategory of C containing all the objects of C on which eta restricts to a natural transformation. Equals <laughs> Topic. Examples equals topic opposite group statements such as every group is naturally isomorphic to its opposite group abound in modern mathematics we will now give the precise meaning of this statement as well as its proof consider the category grp of all groups with group homomorphisms as morphisms if G is a group, we define its opposite group GOP, OP, as follows, GOP is the same set as G, and the operation OP is defined by OP B. Topic B A. All multiplications in GOP are thus turned around. Forming the opposite group becomes a covariant functor from GRP to GRP if we define FOP. F for any group homomorphism F, G H. Note that FOP is indeed a group homomorphism from GOP to HOP. FOP or OP B. Topic F B A. F B F A equals FOP a OP FOP B. The content of the above statement is. The identity functor ID GRP, GRP GRP is naturally isomorphic to the opposite functor OP, GRP GRP. 
To prove this, we need to provide isomorphisms a to g, g gop for every group g, such that the above diagram commutes. Set a to g a equals a minus one. The formulas a b minus one equals b minus one a minus one. Topic a minus one op b minus one and a minus one minus one. A show that a to g is a group homomorphism with inverse a to gop. To prove the naturality, we start with a group homomorphism f, g h and show a to h f. Topic fop a to g, i.e. f a minus one. Fop a minus one for all are in g. This is true since fop. Topic f and every group homomorphism has the property f a minus one. F a minus one. Topic abelianization. Given a group G, we can define its abelianization gab. Topic G G G. Let pi G G gab denote the projection map onto the cosets of G G. Let H be an abelian group. For any homomorphism f g h, we have that g g is contained in the kernel of pi h f because any homomorphism into an abelian group kills the commutator subgroup. Then pi h f factors through gab as fab pi g pi h f for the unique homomorphism fab gab hab. This makes ab, grp grp a functor and pi a natural transformation, but not a natural isomorphism, from the identity functor to ab. <laughs> Determinant Given commutative rings R and S with a ring homomorphism F, R S, the respective groups of invertible n times n matrices G L N R and G L N S inherit a homomorphism which we denote by G L N F, obtained by applying F to each matrix entry. Similarly, F restricts to a group homomorphism F asterisk, R asterisk S asterisk, where R asterisk denotes the group of units of R in fact, GLN and asterisk are functors from Kring to GRP. The determinant on the group GLN R, denoted by DETR, is a group homomorphism from GLN R to R asterisk. Moreover, because the determinant is defined by the same formula for every ring, F asterisk DETR equals debts GLN F holds. This makes the determinant a natural transformation from GLN to asterisk. Equals Topic Double dual of a vector space. Equals If K is a field, then for every vector space V over K we have a natural Injective linear map VV asterisk asterisk from the vector space into its double dual. These maps are natural in the following sense, the double dual operation is a functor, and the maps are the components of a natural transformation from the identity functor to the double dual functor. Equals <laughs> Topic Finite calculus Equals for every abelian group G, the set H O M display style mathroom hom set Z U G of functions from the integers to the underlying set of G forms an abelian group V Z G under pointwise addition. Here U is the standard forgetful functor U, a flat set given a flat morphism phi. Display style var phi 
gg the map vz phi display style var phi display style vz g vz g given by left composing phi display style var phi with the elements of the former is itself a homomorphism of abelian groups in this way we obtain a functor vz display style a flat a flat the finite difference operator delta display style delta g taking each function f display style z u g 2 delta display style delta f display style n display style n f n plus 1 minus display style n plus 1 f n display style n is a map frovers g to itself and the collection delta display style delta of such maps gives a natural transformation delta display style delta vz vz topic tensor homojunction consider the category a flat of abelian groups and group homomorphisms for all abelian groups x, y, and z, we have a group isomorphism. Hom x y z hom x hom y z. These isomorphisms are natural in the sense that they define a natural transformation between the two involved functors a b o p times a b o p times a flat a flat. Here, op is the opposite category of a flat, not to be confused with the trivial opposite group functor on a flat. This is formally the tensor homojunction, and is an archetypal example of a pair of adjoint functors. Natural transformations arise frequently in conjunction with adjoint functors, and indeed, adjoint functors are defined by a certain natural isomorphism. Additionally, every pair of adjoint functors comes equipped with two natural transformations generally not isomorphisms called the unit and counit. Topic: Unnatural isomorphism. The notion of a natural transformation is categorical and states informally that a particular map between functors can be done consistently over an entire category. Informally, a particular map, especially an isomorphism between individual objects, not entire categories, is referred to as a natural isomorphism meaning implicitly that it is actually defined on the entire category, and defines a natural transformation of functors, formalizing this intuition was a motivating factor in the development of category theory. Conversely, a particular map between particular objects may be called an unnatural isomorphism, or, this isomorphism is not natural, if the map cannot be extended to a natural transformation on the entire category. Given an object x, a functor g taking for simplicity the first functor to be the identity and an isomorphism eta x g x display style eta colon x to g x proof of unnaturality is most easily shown by giving an automorphism a x x display style a colon x to x that does not commute with this isomorphism so eta a does not equal g a eta display style eta circ a n e q g a circ eta 
More strongly, if one wishes to prove that X and G X are not naturally isomorphic, without reference to a particular isomorphism, this requires showing that for any isomorphism eta, there is some A with which it does not commute, in some cases a single automorphism A works for all candidate isomorphisms eta, while in other cases one must show how to construct a different A eta for each isomorphism. The maps of the category play a crucial role. Any infranatural transform is natural if the only maps are the identity map, for instance. This is similar but more categorical to concepts in group theory or module theory, where a given decomposition of an object into a direct sum is not natural, or rather, not unique. As automorphisms exist that do not preserve the direct sum decomposition, see Structure Theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain section uniqueness for example. Some authors distinguish notationally, using for a natural isomorphism and approximately equals for an unnatural isomorphism, reserving equals for equality usually equality of maps. Equals Topic Example Fundamental group of torus Equals As an example of the distinction between the functorial statement and individual objects, consider homotopy groups of a product space, specifically the fundamental group of the torus. The homotopy groups of a product space are naturally the product of the homotopy groups of the components pi n x x 0 times y y 0 pi n x x 0 times pi n y y 0 Display style pi underscore n x x underscore zero times y y underscore zero kong pi underscore n x x underscore zero times pi underscore n y y underscore zero with the isomorphism given by projection onto the two factors, fundamentally because maps into a product space are exactly products of maps into the components, this is a functorial statement. However, the torus, which is abstractly a product of two circles, has fundamental group isomorphic to Z2, but the splitting pi 1 t t 0 approximately equals Z times Z display style pi underscore 1 T T underscore 0 approximately math BF Z times math BF Z is not natural note the use of approximately equals display style approximately display style Kong and equals display style equals pi 1 t t 0 approximately equals pi 1 s 1 x 0 times pi 1 s 1 y 0 z times z equals z 2 display style pi underscore 1 t t underscore 0 approximately pi underscore 1 s carrot 1 x underscore 0 times pi underscore 1 s carrot 1 y underscore 0 Kong math BF Z times math BF Z equals math BF Z carrot 2 this abstract isomorphism with a product is not natural as some isomorphisms of T do not preserve the product the self home homeomorphism of T thought of as the quotient space R2 Z2 given by 1101 display style left begin small matrix 1 and 1 0 and 1 end small matrix right geometrically a den twist about one of the generating curves acts as this matrix on Z2 it's in the general linear group GL Z2 of invertible integer matrices which does not preserve the decomposition as a product because it is not diagonal However, if one is given the torus as a product t t 
zero equals S one X zero times S one Y zero Display style T T underscore zero equals S carrot one X underscore zero times S carrot one Y underscore zero Equivalently, given a decomposition of the space, then the splitting of the group follows from the general statement earlier. In categorical terms, the relevant category preserving the structure of a product space is maps of product spaces, namely a pair of maps between the respective components. Naturality is a categorical notion, and requires being very precise about exactly what data is given. The torus is a space that happens to be a product in the category of spaces and continuous maps is different from the torus presented as a product in the category of products of two spaces and continuous maps between the respective components. Topic example, dual of a finite dimensional vector space Every finite dimensional vector space is isomorphic to its dual space, but there may be many different isomorphisms between the two spaces. There is in general no natural isomorphism between a finite dimensional vector space and its dual space. However, related categories with additional structure and restrictions on the maps do have a natural isomorphism, as described below. The dual space of a finite dimensional vector space is again a finite dimensional vector space of the same dimension, and these are thus isomorphic, since dimension is the only invariant of finite dimensional vector spaces over a given field. However, in the absence of additional constraints such as a requirement that maps preserve the chosen basis, the map from a space to its dual is not unique, and thus such an isomorphism requires a choice, and is not natural. On the category of finite dimensional vector spaces and linear maps, one can define an infranatural isomorphism from vector spaces to their dual by choosing an isomorphism for each space say, by choosing a basis for every vector space and taking the corresponding isomorphism, but this will not define a natural transformation. Intuitively this is because it required a choice, rigorously because any such choice of isomorphisms will not commute with, say, the zero map, c McLean and Birkhoff 1999, section vi.4 for detailed discussion. Starting from finite dimensional vector spaces as objects and the identity and dual functors, one can define a natural isomorphism, but this requires first adding additional structure, then restricting the maps from all linear maps to linear maps that respect this structure. Explicitly, for each vector space, require that it comes with the data of an isomorphism to its dual a to v, v v display style a to underscore v colon v to v caret asterisk. In other words, take as objects vector spaces with a non-degenerate bilinear form b v v times v k display style b underscore v colon v times v to k. This defines an infranatural isomorphism isomorphism for each object. One then restricts the maps to only those maps T V U display style T colon V to U that commute with the isomorphisms T eta U T V equals Eta v v display style t caret asterisk eta underscore u t v equals eta underscore v v or in other words preserve the bilinear form b u t v t w equals b V V W Display style B underscore U T V T W equals B underscore V V W 
These maps define the naturalizer of the isomorphisms, the resulting category, with objects finite dimensional vector spaces with a non degenerate bilinear form, and maps linear transforms that respect the bilinear form. By construction, has a natural isomorphism from the identity to the dual, each space has an isomorphism to its dual, and the maps in the category are required to commute. Viewed in this light, this construction add transforms for each object, restrict maps to commute with these is completely general, and does not depend on any particular properties of vector spaces. In this category finite dimensional vector spaces with a non-degenerate bilinear form, maps linear transforms that respect the bilinear form, the dual of a map between vector spaces can be identified as a transpose. Often for reasons of geometric interest this is specialized to a subcategory, by requiring that the non-degenerate bilinear forms have additional properties, such as being symmetric orthogonal matrices, symmetric and positive definite inner product space, symmetric sesquilinear emission spaces, skew-symmetric and totally isotropic symplectic vector space, etc. In all these categories a vector space is naturally identified with its dual, by the non-degenerate bilinear form. Topic. Operations with natural transformations If eta, fg and epsilon, gh are natural transformations between functors f, g, h, c, d, then we can compose them to get a natural transformation e, f, h this is done componentwise, e x equals epsilon x eta x. This vertical composition of natural transformation is associative and has an identity, and allows one to consider the collection of all functors CD itself as a category see below under functor categories. Natural transformations also have a horizontal composition. If eta, fg is a natural transformation between functors f, g, c, d and epsilon, j, k is a natural transformation between functors j, k, d, e, then the composition of functors allows a composition of natural transformations epsilon eta, j, f kilogram. This operation is also associative with identity, and the identity coincides with that for vertical composition. The two operations are related by an identity which exchanges vertical composition with horizontal composition. If eta, fg is a natural transformation between functors f, g, c, d, and h, d e is another functor, then we can form the natural transformation h eta, h f h g by defining h eta x equals h Ata x display style h ata underscore x equals h ata underscore x. If on the other hand k b c is a functor, the natural transformation ata k f k g k is defined by ata k x equals ata k x. Display style eta k underscore x equals eta underscore k x. Topic Functor categories. If C is any category and I is a small category, we can form the functor category C having as objects all functors from I to C and as morphisms the natural transformations between those functors. This forms a category since for any functor f there is an identity natural transformation 1 f, f, f which assigns to every object x the identity morphism on f x and the composition of two natural transformations the vertical composition above is again a natural transformation. The isomorphisms in C are precisely the natural isomorphisms. That is, a natural transformation eta, fg is a natural isomorphism if and only if there exists a natural transformation epsilon, gf such that e. Topic 1g and e 1f The functor category C is especially useful if I arises from a directed graph. 
For instance, if I is the category of the directed graph, then C has as objects the morphisms of C, and a morphism between phi, uv and psi, xy in C is a pair of morphisms f, ux and g, vy in C such that the square commutes, i.e. psi f equals g phi. More generally, one can build the two-category cat whose zero cells objects are the small categories one cells arrows between two objects c display style c and d display style d are the functors from c display style c to d display style d two cells between two one cells functors f C D display style F C to D and G C D display style G C to D are the natural transformations from F display style F to G display style G the horizontal and vertical compositions are the compositions between natural transformations described previously. A functor category C I display style C caret I is then simply a HOM category in this category. Smallness issues aside. Topic: More examples. Every limit and colimit provides an example for a simple natural transformation, as a cone category theory amounts to a natural transformation with the diagonal functor as domain. Indeed, if limits and colimits are defined directly in terms of their universal property, they are universal morphisms in a functor category. Topic: Yonada lemma. If X is an object of a locally small category C, then the assignment YHOMC X, y defines a covariant functor Fx, C set. This functor is called representable more generally, a representable functor is any functor naturally isomorphic to this functor for an appropriate choice of X. The natural transformations from a representable functor to an arbitrary functor f, c set are completely known and easy to describe. This is the content of the Yonay dilemma. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historical notes. Saunders Mac Lane, one of the founders of category theory, is said to have remarked I didn't invent categories to study functors, I invented them to study natural transformations." Just as the study of groups is not complete without a study of homomorphisms, so the study of categories is not complete without the study of functors. The reason for Mac Lane's comment is that the study of functors is itself not complete without the study of natural transformations. The context of Mac Lane's remark was the axiomatic theory of homology. Different ways of constructing homology could be shown to coincide, for example in the case of a simplicial complex the groups defined directly would be isomorphic to those of the singular theory. What cannot easily be expressed without the language of natural transformations is how homology groups are compatible with morphisms between objects, and how two equivalent homology theories not only have the same homology groups, but also the same morphisms between those groups. Topic. See also Extranatural transformation Universal property Higher category theory Notes <laughs> <laughs>